This is Twit. Okay, I was very surprised that this one hadn't been picked, but it's also something that I recommend to people all the time and they haven't heard of it. It's a password manager that is not uh, one of the big names. It's called NPass Password Manager. Uh, I recommend it because I've been using it since it was in beta before it was even in the Play Store. Uh, I think it's up to several million installs at this point um something like that but it's not one of the one of the big names and i initially liked it because it was a uh, purchase once rather than a subscription model and so you could purchase it once but still uh, get cross device syncing and they now have two options you can pay as like a dollar a month or two dollars a month like most of the competition or you can buy it outright uh, for forty dollars and what i like about it is you can uh, it encrypts all of your um, your vault, you know, all of your passwords and your information, but then you choose where to keep it. So you can keep it locally on your device if you don't want a cloud involved at all, if you're very paranoid about that sort of thing. I know some people are. Um, or you can store it in Dropbox or OneDrive or Google Drive or whatever you want. So you have your own storage involved. And so you keep the keys no matter what. And so, of course, that means that um, there's no support. There's no help there. If you're locked out of your account, it's it's on you. So that's kind of a downside. And uh, that but that's what I liked about it was I bought it one time and then that's it. I, I own it. I own the license to the software and I can still get something that syncs seamlessly uh, between all my devices. So they have desktop clients um, and then the Android app is really good. It's a small development team. I'm not sure if it's just one person or a few people, but they're very responsive to feedback and they're they were really early to support like when Samsung did their own fingerprint sensor with a separate API, like they supported it right away. When uh, Google came out with face unlock on the pixel, uh, they supported it right away. And so they're, they're very nimble like that. And they, they updated to support autofill on Android, et cetera, et cetera. So they do a lot of very um, quick development and they get this stuff out there while keeping it uh, secure and, and really simple. Now it's not, maybe the the flashiest password manager out there uh but it's just been rock solid for me for years and years and years and like i said i paid for it once and and that was it so some people uh want to hold the keys and want to you know do their own thing and don't necessarily trust uh having you know having that you know data shared or saved somewhere else uh and this is the password password manager for you and it's 40 bucks and you get it for all platforms they don't nickel and dime you to get a windows version or a mac version or anything like that that is awesome that yeah this is this is definitely a solution for some people you know um obviously there's a lot of different ways to go about this sort of thing but being able to hold on yeah to the keys, i love it I definitely, you know, I'm not going to recommend it to, you know, to my mom. I, you know, because, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, she may be more willing or, or more uh, likely to forget a password or set up a new phone and forget that, you know, it's installed in another phone or something like that. There are managed solutions that are way better for that and, you know, end up charging you more as well as a result. But it's just mm -hmm. good. I'm really glad whenever we do an update, we keep like a running list of best password managers. And, you know, you have your one password and your last pass and you know keeper and all these other ones uh, I always like to throw in one that's a purchase once use everywhere option because you know in this world where we're all paying a million subscriptions uh, and we're getting you know five bucks here ten bucks there and all of a sudden you know we're paying so much money every month in subscriptions it's really nice to just have a piece of software that you just buy and that's what you have it's a very old school model now and people aren't used to paying 40 dollars for an app uh and i understand that that's like kind of an issue uh but the fact that you can just buy it and have it and it's completely tied to your google account they do all the billing all properly through google play is really really nice so you can restore it any any number of times and any number of devices they don't lock you out with any kind of you know timers or device limits or anything like that they're very consumer friendly Nice. And once again, Play Pass. Uh, this is available in Play Pass. So yeah. if you happen to subscribe to Play that Pass. Seems, that's like a good example of the, this developer is just like 
in on you know, every new thing that comes out. They're just yeah. they're just into it. They're not trying to do their own separate thing, uh, you know, their own weird business model or anything like that. It's very, I don't know, by the book, I guess you'd say, uh, as far as yeah. the Play Store and Android goes. Right on. Enpass, E-N-P-A-S-S. Enpass Password Manager is the name of that app. Great pick. I'm surprised that wasn't in there too. <laughs> 